We've had a lot of rock and roll over the last half hour, and um, I'd like to uh, introduce you to my first introduction to R&B, um, the first um, American R&B music that I really, that I really got, meaning I got, meaning I, it just hit me here, was the music of Chic, and um, I first heard them uh, in the mid 70s when I was listening to a lot of punk rock and. Uh, I was in a band, um, geez, it, it might have even been Duran Duran, but very beginnings of Duran Duran, and, and we, um, we were rehearsing at a, uh, what we call a squat, I don't know how that translates, but it was, a, it was a house in the city of Birmingham that nobody lived in, so, you know, just some friends of ours that didn't have a home, they would just sleep there, and uh, there, was, there was one band used to like set up and rehearse downstairs and we'd set up and rehearse upstairs and when I started listening to Chic I started playing bass and I started playing these kind of disco bass lines and uh, it was at a time where there was very divided uh, factions between disco and rock, rock and disco and I remember uh, coming to the, uh, to the building one day and going upstairs to our rehearsals and the band downstairs had written Disco Sucks in lipstick on the door to our rehearsal room. <sighs> well, what happened to them? That's what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> those disco bass lines came in pretty useful, I don't mind telling you, and I'm very grateful to Chic, and this is Lafrique. <laughs> 